Hey guys, I just want to show you gab.ai, if that's how it's pronounced, I don't know, G-A-B dot A-I. <clears throat> Anyways, I mentioned it before, I put an advertisement on the website for it, but it's pretty much like Twitter, but um, it's not restricted as far as speech goes. You know, Twitter's been known to remove um, tweets and even remove people's accounts and stuff because of things they've said. You know, you can say stuff regarding islam or whatever and in a in a bad way a negative way <clears throat> according to them or whatever anyways you know you could say stuff about homosexuals or you know homosexuality being a sin or something and they might delete that so i think it's pretty cool to have this uh free speech where you know they're not they're not going to restrict stuff like that um but it's pretty it's pretty basic really this is the home page if you click on that frog um you see my profile, you get like a banner and a profile picture just like Twitter or Facebook. And you can have like your own quote here. They automatically put one on here. I haven't changed it, so maybe I should put a Bible verse or something there. Um, they show you the, the, the top trends you can click on and see some of the top news. And I like this because, you know, I've seen some stuff regarding the election and stuff that's pretty interesting that people have put on here so it's kind of like an underground news source in a way but um you know there are christians on here i don't know how many people are signed up but like i said i'm pretty sure you still have to sign up and it'll take a while to get approved but only a couple weeks or so that's how long it took for me anyways maybe faster now but you can you can type i don't know how many characters it allows uh like 300 it looks like and then you can use a, a GIF from Giphy. You can't upload your own pictures or anything yet. I don't know if they'll update that or not. But um, they have a donate thing. You can donate to them. <clears throat> Feed filter settings. So you can filter things that you don't want to see. I never really looked at this much. Um, you can Okay, you can mute certain words or certain users. I still have an... Ex experimented a lot with this but I'm just kind of giving you an idea what it looks like if you haven't seen it these are posts from people who I have followed uh, you know I've got a few followers following a few people um, but mostly I've just been looking at the things that people have been posting like the up-to-date news and stuff it's pretty cool um, and I want to show you a couple things on the website too that I've updated or added up here I got a the Google Translate thing, which I think is pretty cool. I know Google Translate's not really perfect, um, but you know it can always improve. But I added it to the website anyways, so it'll change all the text to whatever language you click. So if somebody wants to read this in Spanish, you know, to the best of their ability to translate this, see it automatically change all the text to Spanish or whatever language it is. So I think that's pretty cool. Then you can easily go back to English. And then over here I added this Bible. You click on and it'll open another window, this slim window like this with the Bible embedded in it, the King James Bible. And you can search for a verse or whatever. Um, I already had the, the search down here that goes to Bible Gateway and I'm probably going to keep that too. But um, this 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 will open in a new tab if you enter that. This will open in a new window. Um, I think it could be kind of useful just for a quick search. You can exit out of it and then click back on it whenever you want to use it again. And I've started adding, filling out more pages, mostly stuff from the topical Bible, but it's just starting it. Um, like all of these, if you click on any of these, they should have stuff on them for the most part, except for the end times. Um, like man, you can click on that about the doctrine of man and so still working on this and uh, that's it I'm trying I'm gonna start uploading more on daily motion on Vimeo I've added pictures on Pinterest and Flickr and so anyways that's that still waiting on a call for UPS, hopefully this week they're supposed to call me, so anytime now.
and looking forward to this debate, this last final debate on Wednesday and seeing what news, more news is going to come out on that. So uh, I'll just, I would suggest that you sign up for this Gab AI. If you like using Twitter and stuff, uh, you might want to look into this. Uh, you know, it's new. It could become big. You never know. So, but uh, it's a cool little community right now. So that's it. God bless.